Okay, y'all, here's me again making another video. Uh, Rob's yard. Got uh, three little projects to work on today, as you can see. Two of these pots are deteriorating in this Texas heat. So, right here we have my uh, blood orange, and it has a few pieces of fruit on it. And weeds growing in it also and over here we have a bonfire peach it's looking pretty good also and then down right down below right here we got a uh, angel red pomegranate I saw it on sale and I went on and picked it up because uh, I never had one of those that's one add to my pomegranate collection right now I got three different varieties so they say the more varieties sometimes more production and more fruit you get. So right here in the background over here, I have some of the things I'm going to use to up pot these pots with. And I have some compost right here in the front. I also have some Kellogg's potting mix. I have some worm castings back there also. I have some vermiculite. Uh, I have some also some pine bog mulch to mix in with to help with the drainage. Um, you see some sand in the background over there also, but we're not using that today. That's for my um, other little project I got going on today. Uh, this is a base for my overhanging uh, umbrella. So I'll be doing that today too, but that's gonna be on another video. And right here in the background over here are some of the pots I'm gonna use to up pot these guys with. So uh, let me get my wheelbarrow out, and then I'll show y'all what I'm mixing together, and we'll go from there. Hold on a second. Be right back. Everybody, I'm back. And so far, what I've done, because I'm doing this by myself right now. I don't have my camera guy with me. But so far, in my wheelbarrow, I have the uh, Kellogg's All-Natural Potting Mix. I hope one whole bag. And what I'm about to add next will be some compost, probably um, a quarter of a bag, uh, probably half of this bag of worm castings, because you can never have enough of worm castings. And I'll probably put probably half of this bag of vermiculite in there also, along with some um, Epsom salt and some um, pine bark mulch. I will mix in with it. So let me get all that into the wheelbarrow, get it all mixed up, and I'll come right back again. Hold on. I'm back again. As you can see, I got all my amendments mixed in with the um, potting soil. And one thing I forgot to mention to you guys that uh, when I'm done um, potting it up, I will be watering it down with some fish, Alaska's fish fertilizer 511. So it'll get a good drenching of that. And what I also forgot to mention to you guys, I will be adding um, irrigation to the pot. So I will be bringing it in from the bottom of the pot on up to the top, because lately I've been so busy that um, I haven't been able to get my pots, potted plants watered like they should be to have a little bit of uh, difficulty. But uh, like I said, I was gonna be running these water lines, well, the black water line up from the bottom of the pot and then adding the brown water line that has perforated holes all throughout it to help keep the plant watered. So, like I say, due to um, work and other obligations, uh, it's kind of hard for me to stay on top of getting my pots watered. So, I'm going to be going with this method because um, it's kind of feasible right now. I need to because I like watering it myself. Cause that way I can see if anything's going on with my plants. But when I, you know, set it up like this along with a timer, uh, you know, I'm, you know, you tend to miss things. So I have to do what I got to do. So let me start with this and I'll show y'all the progress as I go. Talk to you later. Hey YouTube. So far we're in the pot. She's sitting pretty straight. And, uh, now our next step is, as you can see, the water line I was telling you guys about. I ran from the bottom of the pot 
down there at the bottom. I have to cut it off right there when I get it over there in the yard and punch it into the, the main water source. But right here, I'm going to have to add the um, actual watering um, adapter piece. The brown, the brown cable that I showed you guys. So let me get that in place and then I'll be right back. YouTube, I'm back. As you can see, I got the um, drip line in place. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cover it up with mulch, but I'm not gonna cover it up until I you know, do a test run on it, making sure everything's okay and it's dripping the way I want to, because if I have to change anything, I can do it then versus having to dig all the mulch out around it. So when I get it over to where it's gonna be resting at, then I do another another um, progress report for you guys on it and let you see what happens. Okay YouTube, I got the pots set in place and I connected the water lines, as you can see, running down the back side of the fence. And uh, the drip line is working. Let me let you get a closer look, like right here. As you can see, that's all it's supposed to do. And I'll let that run for like 20 minutes a day on each one. So we've got the blood orange ready to go. And the red angel pomegranate ready to go. As you can see. I think what I may also do, since I got this one double looped around, I may double loop this one around so we can get more water. It gets pretty hot out here. So, other than that, I'm a t uh, these have already been top dressed with uh, fruit tree um, fertilizer and uh, worm castings on both. Grounded into the dirt. So, thank you guys for watching. This has been Mr. Rob with another video in Rob's yard. So I'll talk to y'all in the next one. Talk to you later. Okay, guys, like I said, once I got everything uh, in the pots, I was going to um, go drench them down with some fish fertilizer 511. So let's, let me eyeball it. You know, too little won't hurt, and too much won't hurt. The only thing that you smell, yeah, is not pleasant. So give me some water right quick, y'all. Get this, excuse me. Let me get this stuff mixed in. Let me get these plants watered. Then I can uh, bolt them down. Let it be a wrap. Looking for the future. Well, maybe, well, I might be able to get some good fruit off these two trees. I'm just gonna mix up uh, a gallon, not a gallon, but five gallons, and uh, I'll split it between the two or three trees. See how, let's see how things look. But this should be enough, because like I said, I'm putting a water system on it, irrigation system on it, and uh, I should be in good shape. So let me stop this right quick, and I'll be right back. Great nutrients for your trees. That's all this is. So what we're gonna do next? We're gonna top dress it with some uh, mulch, and that's gonna be. A this wrap. has been Rob's yard. See y'all on the next one.